uh, Rob Mathis, who's the uh, Episcopalian priest in uh, Ohio. As a reluctant transplant to rural Iowa in 1969, I had the good fortune to meet the Moxleys. Doyle became a gentle mentor, and Kurt immediately befriended me, introducing me to the finer things of life in Iowa, beer, cards, and fishing, and of course, rock and roll music. I soon found in Kurt the older brother I did not have and a loyal friendship that endured a lifetime. In the day, I would have been considered a nerd, introverted, academically minded, not good in sport, and a preacher's kid, no less. Yet Mox always included me as a welcome member of his wild crew of friends. Kurt exhibited some of the finest qualities of a friend, faithfulness, loyalty, and good humor. His was a generous spirit, embracing life in its fullest. People seemed to gravitate toward him because of his good nature and fun-loving attitude. Although, although some of his excesses took a toll on his health, he maintained a good spirit and gentle nature. He remained true to himself, his family, and friends. I will miss being able to call or message him and hear him say with that jovial spirit, Hey bud, how are you? While Mox and I never talked religion, he respected my life's vocation as a priest he never treated me any different, which I appreciated. I sensed in him a love of God's creation and a deep love for his family, especially his daughter. Such love is God, for God is love in all, in all its expression. That grace and love of God now embraces Kurt, Doyle, and Bev, and all our ancestors and loved ones who have passed through the veil of this life to life eternal. May his soul and the whole souls of all the departed through the mercy of God rest in peace.